Manchester United is delighted to announce the signing of 21-year-old Daniel James from Swansea City. The versatile forward had this to say about joining this great club. Thank you, yeah. Um, well, for me, it's surreal, really, um, to be part of this massive club. Um, as, a, as a kid, I think everyone grows up saying, I want to play for Manchester United, and here I am today saying that. And uh, for me, I, I never thought I'd play against them, never mind play for them. So, yeah, yeah, I can't wait to get started. Obviously, got, we've got a massive fan base here, and, and to, to be part of that is, is amazing. Um, playing, playing the Premier League is going to be a big test for me, uh, and, and it's one I think I'm ready for. Didn't think I was going to get much first team football. Uh, I remember going into the, to the office at the start of this year and saying I wanted to go on loan. I got told that I'd, I'd be a part of I'd be a part of something, and obviously you go out of the office thinking is 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 that true? Um, and to get my opportunity this year is has been amazing. Um, I'm saying it's it's been a it's been a great six months for me to to get that many games for Swansea and 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 to obviously get my Welsh debut as well has been amazing. At the start, obviously, you're, it's, you're nervous and um, you're thinking about what other people are thinking about you. Um, but it wasn't until I obviously got my first start at home and um, I think I played played the way I did for for, for I did for the for the under 23s and the under, under 18s. And uh, I think the, the gaffer trusted me and he, and he told me to just go out and play my game. And um, I think from from then on, I just believed that that I could be um, that I could play. Um, and I think every game I, I got better and, and learned more. I say I'm a quite a direct player. Um, I don't like just the ball into feet and dribble at players. I like to get the ball in behind. Um, I'd say, yeah, really. Um, quite a pacey player. Yeah, I think being versatile is important, uh, especially this day and age. You know, um, a lot of players, um, it's, it's important that you can play in different positions. And I think this year I've played left. I've played right and I've played up top and I've enjoyed all three of them. I think it's important not to be able to just be able to just play one position or just enjoy one position. Um, to play all three and enjoy all three is obviously you've got you've obviously got more chance of, of getting in the team. Brian was obviously a big credit to, to why I'm here now. Um, obviously he gave that opportunity to me in the in the Savaki game. Um, and to obviously the score in the first five minutes was um, amazing for me. Um, I think the trust he's given me, uh, and obviously from from then on, obviously he's watched a few games for me at Swansea, and I think he's played a big credit to, to why I'm here now. I think he obviously mentioned me to um, he mentioned me here, um, and I don't mean I I give a lot back to him for that. I think when I speak to everyone about it. Um, it's a kind of goal you score when I was, uh, do you know what I mean? When I was a kid, when I was playing for my local team, really, uh, I didn't expect that much space to be in front of me from a free kick. Uh, I think everyone usually has a player on the halfway line, but as soon as the ball hit me and I had that space to run into, there was only there was only one thing to in my mind, and that was to to get as quickly as I could to, to the other goal. And once I got there, it was about being composed, and, and thankfully I was. Yeah, I've spoke to him uh, while I've been here. Uh, I think the ambition they've got for the club is 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 amazing, and uh, I think for, for, for the next for the next few years um, to, to get players in who are hungry and, re and ready to to work hard, and, and I believe that. And um, I think I'm one of them players. I'm, I'm willing to work hard, and it's one I'm one I'm looking forward to. I've actually watched the the Barcelona v um, United game um, when they played in the Champions League, and the the atmosphere was amazing. Uh, I think when I went to watch then, I never thought that I'd actually be part and actually be able to play on that pitch. And um, thinking about it now, and do you know what I mean, I can't can't wait to get out. Um, it's going to be something I'm really looking forward to um, to, to to be out there on the pitch. The, obviously, I said that the atmosphere is amazing, and the the fans incredible. So yeah. Yeah, it's, it's something I'm really looking forward to. Obviously, we've got a, we've got a lot of things coming up, um, Australia and China, um, and obviously you see you see it all over, you see it all over social media everywhere. The the fan base is is unbelievable. I think anywhere you go, you're gonna have United fans everywhere, and it's not just a big club; it's a big family club as well. 
No, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to obviously the fixture list coming out. Um, doesn't matter who you play in the Premier League, every game's going to be hard, but to, to see that and to see the teams that, I, that I'm going to be playing is obviously um, surreal for me. And I mean, it's, it's one that I, I probably never believed for myself to, to be playing against them teams. So. Obviously, I had a taste of it a bit last year in the FA Cup, playing against some of the, some of the best players in the world. And, and that is something I'd week in, week out, I'm going to be playing against. And that's. Uh, Something for, for me, I don't believe myself to be on the, on the same level as them, but obviously that's what, that's where I want to be, and um, it's, it's a challenge that I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, to be here. Uh, I want to be a part of obviously getting United where, back to, to where they want to be. His manager at international level is United legend Ryan Giggs, and having worked with him closely. Gig says this about his ability and potential. First of all, um, his best attribute is his speed. I mean, phew, I've probably not seen anyone as quick as that in my whole career, and that's a big shout because obviously I've played and played against um, quick players. Um, he can play a number of positions anywhere across the front three, really. Um, and this year he's played quite a bit for Swansea up front, um, which he, he's not done a lot of in the past, but he, he looked comfortable. And um, he's a nightmare for defenders. You know, he's that um, not that that big, so it's hard to get your your, your arm across. And he's just uh, he's he's both footed, um, can score goals, create goals, obviously, and um, he's got a really good temperament as well. Is he a hungry, driven young individual? Yeah, I mean, um, he's had a bit of a well. He went through a tough stage where he went out on loan. It didn't quite work out. Come back, did really well for Swansea. And then um, I think it was well documented at the turn of the year, um, his move to, to Leeds fell through. And then after that, really, he's just been on fire. So it just shows the strength of character as well that he has got. Because he, I, I know that it was, it was close, it was close to, to moving. And um, it didn't let it get to him, just concentrated, knuckled down. Did really well for me um, against Slovakia, obviously scored the winning goal. Um, and he's just got better and better all season. So still young, still learning the game. but. No, he's um, he's a speed merchant, and um, yeah, I'm sure he at Old Trafford with that big pitch, he'll um, he'll cause plenty of defenders nightmares. And just finally, be a big component of your um, young Wales team going forward. Plenty of potential, loads of good players in that mix, and must be an exciting future for the Welsh team. Yeah, it is because it's what I wanted. You know, I've got that experienced players, and I've got young players coming through. And, and Dan is one of them. And what I want is uh, competition for, for places. You know, everyone always says you want two players for every position, and I'm nearly getting there in that department. But especially front areas, um, wide areas, um, I've got plenty of choice. And um, yeah, even Dan will find it hard to get in the, the starting lineup, which just shows the quality that I have got. So um, yeah, I'm lucky in that respect that I've got a, young a lot of young players at my disposal. Well, for those of you who don't know a lot about the talented youngster, check out this fact file. Daniel James is quick, and I mean really quick. His best attribute is his speed. I mean, I've probably not seen anyone as quick as that in my whole career. He's even been likened to sprint legend Usain Bolt by Hungary manager Marco Rossi, whose side faced gigs as Wales in Euro 2020 qualifying. But he's more than just a speed merchant. The 21-year-old from Yorkshire, who qualifies to play for Wales through his late father, Kevin, can play anywhere across the forward line and has a high work rate, which suits the modern game. It's been a rapid rise to prominence for James, who began his career at Hull City after scouts spotted him in 2006 while still at primary school. He was with the Tigers for eight years before Swansea snapped him up Despite good performances for the Swans under-23s, he couldn't force his way into a first team which was fighting relegation, a fate which the South Wales side succumbed to in 2018. In fact, that 2017-18 season was a particularly disappointing one for James, who went to Shrewsbury on loan but didn't play a single minute. A move to Manchester United must have seemed an impossible dream at that time. But last season was a breakthrough one for the youngster, he netted five times and made ten assists for Swansea in an always fiercely competitive championship. He also scored on his full debut for Wales against Slovakia in Cardiff. His form alerted teams like Leeds United, who failed in a January bid 
to take him to Elland Road. He's a young man who has the potential to achieve big things. He's brave, mentally tough and could prove to be a shrewd bit of business for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as he looks to reshape the Reds. And we're all really excited to see just how he progresses here at Manchester United. The first chance you will be able to get to see him in action is on the pre-season tour, all of which you can see right here on MUTV. Bye for now. James angles are cute, but Daniel James lashes the ball into the net and Swansea City have the lead. Signal drives it in low. Abraham sets up Daniel James. It's a goal for the Devon Road and it's eight for Swansea City. Hit it right footed. May have taken a touch, but it nestled in the back and he's run away delighted. Tries to go round the outside of down in the area. That's a penalty. Daniel James cuts inside from the left and now drives forward in plenty of space. What can he do here? Dan James going forward. Goes the ball for Colin Warner! Yeah. Warner yeah. yeah. to Yadro. It's exactly that. Trying to go past. There's got to be a penalty. Got to be. That is. That's forward looking for Dan James. Connor Roberts is in the middle and McBurney! Excellent. Oh, that's a drop ball there. Can Swansea capitalise on it? Daniel James fires the back of the net. Nice passing with Oliver Burnley. James into the box. Daniel James with the shot. 1 0 Swansea. Daniel James. The way. Way to play it out to the far side. James has picked it up. James has got the pace. Oh, he's going wrong.